hello students now we are going to discuss about the simple gear train in a simple gear train only one gear is mounted on each shaft okay it is known as the simple gear train and uh, the distance between the two shaft is very small when we use this type of the gear train uh, the distance between the two shaft is small when the two types uh, this type of gear is used in this type of gear here in this diagram there are uh, pitch circle di showing the pitch circle diameter of the gear and uh, it is the pitch circle it is the pitch circle diameter of the gears and it is mounted on the this shaft okay and uh, let me consider the n1 n2 n3 and n4 the corresponding speeds of the gears n1 for corresponding speed of the gear 1 2 and 3 and 4 is i named here 1 2 3 and 4 respectively and uh, if i uh, assume the speed is n1 n2 n3 in rpm then n it is uh, use this n1 n2 n3 and 4 if i am using the speed in radian per second then omega 1 omega 2 omega 3 and omega 4 and similarly the speed is uh, uh, and the number of teeth is t1 t2 t3 and t4 corresponding number of teeth on the gear 1 2 3 and 4 now uh, applying the law of gearing on the individual pairing of the gears 1 2 3 2 3 and 3 4 then this is a uh, omega 1 by omega 2 r we can say n1 by n2 equals to t2 by t1 it is my equation number 1 for the gear 1 and 2 and similarly for the gear 2 and 3 omega 2 by omega 3 r we can say n2 by n3 equals to t3 by t2 between 3 and 4 that is n3 by n4 equals to t4 by t3 now we multiplying uh, the all the above equations 1 into 2 into 3 then what I get then uh, omega 1 by omega 2 into omega 2 by omega 3 to so omega 2 cancel out by the omega 2 then omega 2 by omega 3 into omega 3 by omega 4 omega 3 and omega 3 is cancelled out then finally we have only omega 1 by omega 4 similarly on the left hand side t2 by t1 no t1 by t2 t2 by t1 t3 by t2 and t4 by t3 then t2 cancelled by t2 and t3 cancelled by t3 cancelled by t3 then what i get t4 by t1 it is my speed ratio uh, from this uh, from the above equation the speed ratio is independent uh, the size and number of the inter intermediate gear the intermediate gear are called idle gear here i am showing the gear 2 and 3 gear 2 and 3 is the idle or intermediate gear if i assume uh, if i i am using the number of gear 1 gear number of gears is odd then the direction of the gear is same uh, the direction is i mean to say clockwise or anti clockwise here uh, i am using this direction is clockwise gear 1 then gear 2 direction is anti-clockwise gear 3 direction is again clockwise and gear 4 direction is again anti-clockwise then if the number of the gear between driver and driven is uh, 2 then we get uh, opposite uh, direction of the motion and if the mo if i am using the intermediate gear is odd then the direction of the motion is the direction of the motion is same i mean to say if it is a drive driver is clockwise then driven is also clockwise okay thank you Re